So uh, today I want to do another makeup tutorial. This will be my second makeup tutorial. I wanted to do something a little bit bridal, so we're hoping for kind of like the gold and the bronze. Now, um, I'm going to do pink. You know, you can do red. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to play around with pink because I am wearing pink today. So let's get started. First thing, um, I have my foundation, my concealer, my primer, everything is on. Uh, we're just going to start off with the eyes. So we're just going to start off with using um, a base for our eyes, and we're going to use Pop. So just take a little bit, you don't want too much on your eyelids, take a synthetic brush, just take a little bit and put on your eyelid, all the way up to your brow bone, you don't want too much because paint pot can be quite oily, just rub it in, take the same for your eyes. So what I like to do is I find like the, the paint pot stays on me. I just take my blot powder and I'm using the one in medium dark. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to put on my eyelid. Okay, so we got our base on. Sorry, our primer on. Now we're going to put on a colored base and I am going to be using Aqua Cream in number 11 from Makeup Forever. It's a really nice, like a metallic gold. So, same brush, just take a little bit. You, you don't need that much at all. And we're just going to put on our eyelid. Okay. So, once that is done, it's very important to have like your, your bases on correctly or your colors and stuff because that's what makes your your eyeshadows pop and it makes it look so nice. So I'm going to be using um, Makeup Forever's Metallic Powder and I'm using Metallic Powder in number one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on my inner eye. So just take a small shade of brush. I'm going to just take a small one. Grab a little bit and just in the inner eyelid. Pop it on. See how bright that is. You can bring it up just a little bit right into the crease if you want. It's so gold. It's so metallic. I love it. One of my favorite eyeshadows. I have a lot of gold, and this is one of my favorite golds. So once that's on, um, we're just going to do a quick highlight so we don't lose our guidelines. So as for highlight, I always use rice paper for matte. This one. And we're going to be doing two highlights. So this is just our main one. Just take another flat shade of brush, and you're going to go just right under your brow bone. go work on the outer edges. So I am taking Louder Please. It's a matte color by MAC. Right, right, please. And I am taking my angled brush. This one is my Sigma E70. You can use a MAC one. My MAC one's really flimsy. I've used it a lot. So I'm using my Sigma one. What we're going to do is you're just going to kind of go upwards in an angle. and go in the crease. I don't want it to I don't want to make it too rounded. I kinda wanna have a like an angle to it. And bring it all the way in into the crease. I think that's okay for this one. The other okay. Alright, now once we got that, this is kind of just like our base color for our pigment. And Rash and Bold. Sorry. It's a pigment by MAC, and it's a really nice color. It's like, uh, it's like a bright t-shirt. 
just take a little bit. Take your blending brush. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in the crease, okay? You can see how bright that is. Windshield motion, back and forth. Okay, that's, that's really dramatic. I know, um, we're going to fix that. So, what we're going to do next, um, I just don't like one color on the lid. So we're just going to add, I'm using Barry M's number 44. It's a really nice, let's say bronze. Just take, you could use the same shade of brush you used for the gold. Just a little bit. And we're just going to pop it right in the middle. So you can't really see the gold in such small, the bronze in such small detail. Maybe you'll see it in the picture. So next what we're going to do is, since the pink is so bright, um, we're going to kind of blend it out. And what I'm going to be using, I'm using MAC Mineralized Eyeshadow in Illusionary Burning Ambition. And it, it comes with like a white gold with a brown. I'm not going to be using the brown. Like that white gold. And go back with your same blending brush. Pick up a little bit of that gold. Just roll it in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right on top of the pink. And we're going to try to blend that pink out. Because we don't want harsh lines. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to go with our second um, highlight. And I am using Vanilla Pigment by MAC. You can't see it. Oh, no. And just a little bit. Go with a flat shader brush. It's good to put paint pot underneath on your lash line too. It'll hold your eyelash um, so your eyeshadow's better. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Start off with the gold that we use on our inner eyelid. And you know, you don't have to use the exact same colors. If you find like a different gold you want to use, feel free. You don't have to use the same ones I use. After that, we're going to go back with our bronze. with our MAC pink pigment. And make sure when you go to the end, you kind of blend it upwards too, so it's all well blended in. So I did my eyeliner at the top and I kind of winged it out. That's how usually traditional Indian brides do. And I filled my waterline. I did my mascara. Um, usually brides will get fake eyelashes. So um, I apologize for my lighting, but this is actually really bright. Maybe you'll see it in the pictures or not, but um, it is actually quite bright. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to move on to the face. And my favorite right now is from MAC. And it's called Amber and Rose. really nice. So I'm 
going to be using my Sephora brush. My brush. Cut them in. Give it a smile. And all the way up to the cheekbone. highlighting um, if you don't have the Bobby Brown Shimmer Brick, I suggest you go to the Body Shop and get their Shimmering Wave number one. You can use the same brush if you want, so just on the chin, down the nose, on the forehead, and right above your cheek, on your cheekbone. I think the most important thing for a bride is keeping their makeup on and when you're drinking and you're kissing, um, you don't want your lipstick to come off. So my favorite product for that is the MAC, the lip color, the Pro Longwear, and this stuff is good. It doesn't come off. And I'm going to be using Night Rose. With this, you can't put on a lip pencil on anything. They also start flaking. And you don't want that. So if you want to really, really uh, define your lips, you can use a lip pencil after. But don't use a lip pencil as a base. Alright, so you got to let this dry before you put on the gloss. Till then, a lot of people like using a lip pencil just around their lips to define it. And I'm going to be using Soar by MAC. My lips are kind of dry. You can take the glossy part. It's kind of like a top coat for your lips. my blog and I'll put the blog link right underneath uh, the box information box so if you want like a better look of how the how the eye makeup actually looks then I suggest looking at that and I'll put up a list of all the products I use just in case you missed it or I mispronounced it or said something wrong so I'll put that all up in my blog and I hope you guys enjoyed my this is one of my favorite looks I love using gold and bronze if you come look at my kit that's all I have and pink so <laughs> This is one of the looks I love doing. I actually did it for a photo shoot also. So I'll probably post a picture of that because it's the exact same way and the exact same products I use. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care. Bye.